Hey friends, welcome back. Today is Thursday, July 9, 2020. Again, today is Thursday, July 9, 2020. So friends, today we're going to finish our book that we were reading all week. Woohoo! Who remembers the title of the book? Who remembers the title of the what book? If you remember, say it out loud. Yeah, Miss Wishy Washy's Farm. Miss Wishy Washy's Farm. So yesterday, right, we were reading, we started reading about some of the farm animals that Miss Wishy Washy had. We we found out who Miss Wishy Washy was, right? This is Miss Wishy Washy. Do you remember her barn? I'll show you the picture again so you can remember. Remember, this is her farm, her barn house, and her house, and her animals. Do y'all remember that? Do y'all know why they call Miss Wishy Washy by, by that name, Miss Wishy Washy? Well, remember yesterday we were reading that she has a tub? And actually, I think I just saw the tub. Where's that tub? I thought I saw it from. Oh, there, oh, that's not a top, that's a bin, here, almost like a top, let me see, oh, that is her top, actually, look, look at that, that's her top right there, remember the top, what did she do with that top, what did she do with that top, yeah, she washes her animals, are her animals very happy about it, were her animals very happy about it? No, who were who was not happy? Who remembers the cow was one, right? We just saw a picture. The cow was one. Who was the other two animals? There were three animals that were not happy. The cow, two, two more. I'll give you a hand. I'll show you the front cover. Who was not happy? That's right. The cow, the pig, and the duck. All of these three animals were not very happy about having to take a bath. They were not very happy about having to get in that bed and that tub and have to wash, wash, scrub, scrub, right? So what happened to these animals? What do these animals do? Who remembers? What did what did what did these animals do? Who remembers? Mm -hmm. That's right. The animals decided to just leave. They're like, you know what? We don't like it here. So we're just gonna leave. So let's go to that page where they left. So this is a pig and a duck and they're also complaining about their bath. They're not very happy about it. Here it is. They say the scrubbing is over. The scrubbing is over. The dog, the dog, the tub goes away. No more washing, the animals say. Bye-bye, Miss Wishy-Washy. When the animals are leaving, Miss Wishy-Washy is in shock. Those were the animals escaping, right? Who remembers? Where did these animals escape to? Where did these animals escape to? Where did the animals escape to? Uh -huh. The city. You're right. They escaped to the city. They were thinking that in the city... They would find what? In the city, they thought they were going to find what? They thought they were going to find big barns, right? That's what they say. Let's go to the city where we're going to find big barns. Let's think about it, friends. We talked about it yesterday. Are there barns in the city? In a big city, are there barns? No, right? When you have a barn, that means that you have a big open space. In the city, the city looks like a lot like this. You have buildings everywhere, tall buildings, very high buildings called skyscrapers. There's no room for a barn. But do you think these animals knew this? No. Yeah, animals weren't did not know this. They weren't very sure about that. They thought they were going to find some barn. Oh, hey, ha, 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 chokes on them, right? So, remember they said there were so many cars, it was hard for them to go. 
The pig was already tired. The pig wanted to rest. The pig wanted to eat. There's a pig. Look at the pig's face. So where do they walk in? Who remembers? Where do they walk in? That's actually where we stopped reading. Where do they walk in? Remember, they were looking for food. Well, they thought they were walking into a barn, but really they were walking inside of what? That's right. They're walking inside a restaurant. They're walking inside a restaurant. So this is where we stopped. Let me go ahead and reread this page. The three hungry animals walk into a barn. There is food on the dishes, but it's not like the farm. The cow looks around with an anxious face. I think we could be in the wrong eating place. So this is where I asked you yesterday for you to call me. What do you think is going to happen next? What do you think is going to happen next? They're at the restaurant. What do you think is going to happen next? This is where I asked you to call me. So you were all supposed to make a prediction. Um, again, I didn't get calls from everyone, so please make sure you're calling me every day. Just right now, what do you think is going to happen next, though? Well, I'm thinking if the animals, big animals, walked into a restaurant, I'm assuming someone works there, right? So there, there must be a person working there. So a person might go out and be like, what? What is this, right? The person might not be very happy. Let's see what's going to happen. Along comes the cook with an angry shout. You'll be roast on toast if you don't get out. Look at the animal's faces and look at the worker, the employee, the restaurant owner, the cook. Along comes the cook with an angry shout. You'll be roast on toast if you don't get out. The word roast, friends, the word roast means to be like cut. So they're, they're going to cook. He's saying, if you don't get out, I am going to cook you. So the animals are like, what? So do you think the animals are going to walk away? Or do you think they're going to get, they're going to stay to get toasted or get roasted? I mean, hopefully they walk away, right? I don't think they want to be cooked. I don't think they want to be roasted. So uh, hopefully they'll walk away. Let's find out. They run for their lives to the barn next door. Does that look like a barn, friends? Does that look like a barn? And find themselves in a hardware store. Oops. So was this a barn? Was this a barn? It was not a barn, right? It's a hardware store. Again, they're in the city thinking there are all the buildings there are barns, but in reality, those are not barns. They're just stores and buildings and offices. Uh-oh. Then a van pulls up in two shakes of a tail it's a pickup van from the animal jail ooh, ooh animal jail so you think they're gonna go to jail animal prison what does that mean what does that mean i didn't know they had animal jail let's keep reading let's see what's gonna happen they're taking away Oh, what bad luck for the cow and the pig and the poor old duck. Look at all three animals inside the van. Look at all three animals inside the van. Uh-oh. You think they're excited about going to animal jail? Let's see what's going to happen. They're in jail. They sit in a huddle, hungry and pale, in the cold, muddy cage of the animal jail. Here 
a better picture of all the animals because you can see the duck and the pig. Now look at the cow. What is the cow doing? What is the cow doing? You know, the cow's crying. He has tears coming out of his eyes. That's what he says. Then the unhappy cow and the pig and the duck hear the chug, chug, chug of the old farm truck. So they're sad that they're in jail, but they hear a farm truck. So if they hear a farm truck, what do you think they're gonna they're, they're going to try to do? If they hear a farm truck, what do you think they're going to do? Yeah, they feel like they might get rescued, right? They might be getting rescued and go be able to go back to their farm. Let's see what let's see what they say. They moo and they squeal. They they moo and they squeal. They quack and they cheer. It's dear Miss Wishy Washy. She's here. So do you think the animals want to go back with Miss Wishy Washy? By the look of their faces, does it look like they want to go back to Miss Wishy Washy's farm? I, it seems like it, right? But I'm thinking... Well, the animals escaped from his wishy washy because they didn't want to be washed and scrubbed. But now they're happy. So what do you think? What are you thinking? Well, maybe they realize that, hey, living in a city is actually not what we expected. Going into a different place is maybe not the best place that they imagine, right? Far from the city and back on the farm, the animals run to the old red barn. Look at their faces. They look very, very happy, right? They're running. They're running. They're happy. Happy to be back in the farm. Why do you think they're so happy to be back in the farm? Do you think they're happy to go get washed and scrub? No, right? No. So why do you think they look so happy to go back to the farm in the barn? Well, remember, in the city, they were sad because they didn't have what? Yeah, they didn't have food, right? And the pig was tired, and they didn't have a place to rest. So now they're like, hey, being in the farm isn't so bad because we get to rest and we get to eat. Now, Miss Wishy Washy feels so tough. Come on, you three. You need a good scrub. So Miss Wishy Wash is saying, come on you three, look at how dirty you are. You're going to need a scrub. A scrub. Oh bliss, says the cow, and she jumps right in. Oh bliss, says the pig with a happy grin. Oh, bliss, says the duck, splashing in with the rest. There's no doubt about it. Home is best. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Look at the animals jumping inside the tub. Look at the animals jumping inside the tub. The end. The end. So friends, the I believe it was a pig, right? The pig said, or was it the duck? Sorry, the duck says, "There's no doubt about it. Home is best." So I want you to think. They thought that living leaving the farm was gonna be the best thing, and going somewhere else new was better, right? But then they slowly realized that, hey. Being at the barn and being in the farm was actually not so bad as going into a new place as because they didn't get what they expected, right? So uh, those animals learned a lesson that even though they had to scrub and get washed, that's not so bad as going into a new place that they didn't have a place to rest and they didn't have food. And they even missed getting scrubbed. 
I hope you enjoyed this book. I hope you really liked it. I know I did. Also, friends, it is important, though, just because they're, they try something new and it wasn't what they expected, it doesn't mean we shouldn't try new things. It's okay to try new things. But sometimes we might be very upset that we're doing something and we want to try something different and realize that that thing is worse. So when, it does, when that does happen, it's okay to go back to what you were doing and seeing, hey, it's fine. Um, my mom said I had to go, I, ha I had to clean my room before I could play outside, but that's better than not having a home, right? So I hope they learn a lesson. I hope you got a lesson out of this book as well. I know I did. All right, well, you have a great day. I'll see you and talk to you later. Bye-bye, friends.